Hello everyone. So that's a very very good question on BGT biasing. So in this question we have been given a triangular wave input. Okay, this is the input, and uh, this is the capacitor which is charged to five volt initially. At t equals to zero, it is charged to five volt. Now you have to determine the value of t one so that none of the transistor leave the active region. Okay, so what you can see uh, because of the changing input voltage. First it is three point seven. Then there would be some different current here and some different current here. So because of T on time, there would be some current flowing through the capacitor, and after T off time, there would be some different current current flowing through the capacitor. So this VC value will define the region of operation. VC value will define the region of operation. Define the region of operation. Okay. so we will see how so first we will talk about at t equals to 0 plus at t equals to 0 plus what is happening your ve2 is at 8 volt right because this is 0.7 okay this is 0.7 and this is 0. 7 your ve2 as 8 volt and vb2 is at 7.3 volt and vc2 is at 5 volt right this is pnp transistor p and p this is for q2 for q2 and for q1 n p n n p n your ve2 is at 3.7 volt sorry sorry this is at 3 volt this is at 3 volt vb2 is at 3.7 volt right and vc2 is at 5 volt so this is in forward bias right and this is in reverse bias because p is at less positive so this is in reverse bias now this is in forward bias Right, n is at less positive, and p is at more positive. So this is forward bias, and this one is at reverse bias because n is at more positive. So you can you know this concept, right? If emitter junction is at forward bias and collector junction is at reverse bias, it will be in active region. If both are in forward bias, it would be saturation region. If emitter junction is reverse bias, it would be in cut off region. So here we have forward and reverse. So this is in active region. and this also is in active region so we have to maintain this region that's our condition okay we have to maintain this condition now let, let us draw the input again like this is over t on time and this is over t off time okay and t on plus t off equals to 1 microsecond and this is t this is v in 3.7 volt so for 0 to t on your v in is 3.7 volt okay and what is the what we can say here we have current flowing i2 and here we have current flowing i1 and in this capacitor we can say we have current ic okay in this direction we can say ic so for 0 to t on 0 to t on v in is 3.7 volt so here 3.7 minus 0.7 upon 3 that would be 1 milliampere so your i1 would be 3.7 minus 0.3 upon 3k equals to 1 milliampere and your i2 would be 10 minus 8 upon 4k that is equals to 
0.5 milli ampere. So here you have 0.5 milli ampere and here you have 1 milli ampere and this is the capacitor here that is equals to 5 volt. So now there is current flowing in this direction that is equals to 0.5 milli ampere right so now your vct that is initially at 5 volt now it would be it by c 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into t by c 10 nanofarad 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 why so because the current 0 0.5 milli ampere is constant right so for constant current what is vc it is it by c right so it would be 5 minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 and 10 to the power 8 so it would be 5 into 10 to the power 4 t so this is your vct so how will the vct look like so initially it was at 5 volt your vc value was 5 volt and this was time t and it was it will go it will go down like this so this value would be 5 minus 5 into 10 to the power 4 and equals to p ohm right so now what is happening here for q2 you will write ve2 vc2 and sorry vb2 and vc2 v b2 and v c2 v e2 was at 8 volt and this was at 7.3 this was p and p 8 volt 7.3 and this was vc capster value okay this vc and for q1 it was n p n so n p n v e2 was at 3 volt v b2 was at 3.7 volt and v c2 was at v c now what is happening is that your this is in forward bias right both are in forward bias so now what is happening is v c is getting decreased this is getting decreased your v c is getting decreased and the positive value at p voltage is getting decreased so here the reverse bias is getting increased right vc is getting oh sorry vc is getting uh, vc is getting decreased so the positive value at p is getting decreased positive value at p is getting decreased so if positive value at p is getting decreased then reverse bias is getting increased right because in reverse bias we have less positive value like here we have 5 and there here we have 6 so this is less positive so if positive value is getting decreased then reverse bias is getting increased or here the positive value here the positive value at n side is getting decreased at n side at negative side the positive value is getting decreased so here the reverse bias is getting decreased means forward bias is getting increased means forward bias is getting increased the positive value is getting decreased at n side at n side the positive value is getting decreased that means that n is going towards negative if n is going towards negative then the forward bias would increase so this one is going towards saturation going towards saturation and this stays in active stays in active so in this region q1 is moving towards saturation okay now we will talk about the second condition so for t of time or what you can say or t on to t minus t on to what you can write like we are seeing it for this time for t of time and let us call it t 
so for from t1 to t okay so from t1 to t time from t1 to t time okay what you can see so from t1 to t time again your vn would be 0 volt your vn would be 0 volt your vn is 0 so this current i2 would be the same i2 would be the same 0 0.5 milliampere i1 i1 will change i1 will change to 0 minus 0 0.7 upon 3k it would be 0 0.7 by 3 milliampere so here you have 0 0.5 milliampere here you have 0 0.7 by 3 milliampere so this is the capacitor so in this direction now you will have some current so ic current would be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7 by 3 that would be 0 0.8 by 3 milliampere so in this direction you have 0 0.8 by 3 milliampere so your vc would be mm, so here you have already 5 minus 5 into 10 to the power 4 t ohm that voltage is already there this voltage is 5 minus 5, 5 into 10 to the power 4 into t ohm that voltage is already there now you will have some more voltage because your voltage is getting increased this, this time this was 5 volt right this was some voltage so now the current is going in positive voltage so in positive plate in positive plate the voltage the current is going so your voltage will increase so it will increase by this it by c 0 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 into t by c it is 10 to the power minus 8 so it would be 5 minus 5 into 10 to the power 4 into t on plus 8 by 3 into 10 to the power 4 t so now you can draw vct again so this was your initial value 5 volt and this was at t on now the slope is less right here the slope is 8 by 3 into 10 to the power 40 and here the slope was 5 into 10 to the power 40 okay so the slope is less so the slope is less right this would be some value that value would be okay let me write once 5 minus 5 into 10 to the power 4 t ohm plus 5 sorry 8 by 3 into 10 to the power 4 t o so this would be the value okay now what is happening here for q2 again we will write v2 vb2 and vc2 this is equals to vc v2 was at 8 volt this was at 7.3 volt it was p and p for q1 q1 we will write here v e1 v b1 and v c1 it is equal to vc vb1 is at 0 0.7 it is at minus 0 0.7 volt this is in forward bias nobody can change it this is in forward bias nobody can change it okay now here what is happening vc is getting increased the positive value at p voltage is getting increased that means reverse bias is getting decreased Pos voltage as p is getting increased voltage at p is getting increased that means p is moving towards positive if p is moving towards to positive then reverse bias is getting decreased and forward bias is getting increased and here vc is getting increased this is n p n that means the positive value at n is increasing that means reverse bias is getting increased and forward bias is getting decreased so this one stays in active stays in active and this one moves towards saturation saturation and now this is what here q2 moves towards saturation 
so now your graph would look something like this right so it is starting from some some value then it is discharging then it is charging with less slope then discharge then charging with less slope going like this right we will we are calling this one as discharge okay and this one as charging now let us assume let us assume discharging is more than charging discharging is more than charging okay so if discharging is more what will happen discharging is more it will go down then it will go up lesser because discharging is more it will go down then it will go lesser go down go up lesser go down so after infinity cycle here vc is decreasing continuously right so if vc is decreasing continuously vc is decreasing vc is decreasing continuously if the vc is decreasing continuously q1 moves towards saturation so q1 will is liye q1 will go to saturation after infinite cycles like after a lot of cycles eventually it will go towards saturation so we don't need need this condition because it is getting decrease 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 so eventually it will go towards saturation only q1 will go towards saturation or if your charging is more than discharging if your charging is more then what will happen this is discharge then it is charging more charging discharge and less discharge and more charging now vc is getting continuously increasing so here vc is continuously increasing so what will happen if vc is continuously increasing here vc is increasing so q1 will eventually go to saturation sorry q2 q2 will eventually go to saturation q2 will eventually go to saturation तो इसमें हो क्या रहा है कि अगर पहले डिस्चार्ज हुआ ठीक है अगर डिस्चार्ज ज्यादा हो गया तो VC की वैल्यू बहुत कम हो जाएगी इफ डिस्चार्जिंग इज मोर वीसी विल गो डाउन वीसी विल गो टू जीरो वोल्टेज और वीसी विल गो डाउन ओके सो क्यू एन विल गो टू सेचुरेशन एंड इफ चार्जिंग इज मोर इफ चार्जिंग इज मोर देन क्यू टू विल गो टू सेचुरेशन सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट बोथ ऑफ दी कंडीशन वी वॉन्ट द बोथ क्यू एन एंड क्यू टू टू बी इन लीनियर रीजन ओनली सो वट वी शुड डू we should make the charging and discharging equal so this was case 2 and now we are taking charging equal to discharging discharging theek hai to jitna charge hua utna hi discharge hoga samajh rahe ho to yahan se itna charge hua itna hi discharge itna charge itna discharge to ab kya hoga so what will happen after one cycle the voltage will remain same after every cycle after every cycle the voltage will remain same the voltage will remain at 5 volt only so after every cycle it will remain at 5 volt only so in this condition both q1 and q2 will be in in active region do you get my point right so after every cycle if we have vc value to be 5 volt this is vc right so after every cycle if we have vc to be 5 volt so what i was saying that after every cycle if we have both of the if we have vc value to be 5 volt then both of the transistor will be in active region okay so we have some discharge value we have some charged value some discharge value and some charged value if we equate both of them then we can find the value of t on right this was over discharge value right 
sorry charge value charged value and this was over discharged value discharged so what was over 5 into 10 to the power 4 t ohm equals to 8 by 3 into 10 to the power 4 t off right so we have equated both of them or what you can say you can equate this value you can equate this value equals to 5 if you equate it to 5 then the same will come equate it to 5 then the same this one will come right this one will come ok so 15 by 8 t on equals to t off and t on plus t off equals to 1 microsecond so 23 by 8 t on equals to 1 microsecond so t on would become 0 0.347 0 0.347 microsecond so this is your answer to get my point now aapko equation samajh mein aaya hoga dekho अपन ने क्या देखा कि पहले 3.7 आएगा तो अपना कुछ वोल्टेज आएगा आईसी का उससे कारण अपना वीसी वोल्टेज डिस्चार्ज होगा अगर वीसी अपना डिस्चार्ज हो रहा है वीसी अपना डिस्चार्ज हो रहा है तो क्यू1 अपना सैचुरेशन की तरफ जा रहा है फिर क्या होगा वीसी चार्ज होगा अब जब वीसी चार्ज होगा तो अपना क्यू2 सैचुरेशन की तरफ जा रहा है तो अपन को क्या करना है चार्जिंग और डिस्चार्जिंग को इक्वल कर देना है तो जितना डिस्चार्ज हुआ उतना चार्ज होगा अब दोनों डिस्चार्ज और चार्ज सेम हुआ तो फिर वो वोल्टेज तो 5 पे ही रह जाएगा वीसी का वैल्यू उतने पे ही रह जाएगा तो उससे क्या होगा उससे फिर आपका जो 5 वोल्ट है वो कांस्टेंट रह जाएगा हर साइकिल के बाद हर साइकिल के बाद आपके पास 5 वोल्ट कांस्टेंट रह रहा है तो दोनों ही आपके सैचुरेशन में जाएंगे दोनों ही एक्टिव में रहेंगे सो दैट्स व्हाट वी वांटेड सो व्हाट वी डिड वी जस्ट सो थ्री कंडीशन एंड देन वी इक्वेटेड दोस वैल्यू एंड देन वी हैड टी1 प्लस टी ऑफ इक्वल्स टू 1 दिस वाज आवर इक्वेशन 1 एंड दिस वाज आवर इक्वेशन 2 सो फ्रॉम हियर वी गॉट टी1 इक्वल्स टू 0.347 माइक्रोसेकंड ओके सो दैट वाज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड वेरी कांसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन आई होप यू गॉट इट ओके थैंक यू